collaboration and the Sanin de Fonsai build. Um, thought I'd give you a quick update currently where I am on that um, and also to show you a few of the bits and bobs that came with the kit because um, I haven't really had a chance to explain that yet, not in, not in decent detail anyway. Um, but first things first, as you can see, the top deck is in position, okay? It's now been fixed in place and it's now got all the clamps there, it's just holding, it's just setting now. Um, but as most of you know, you know, I completed that last night um, and sanded it down, stained it, and then this morning it's now been fixed in the place. That was done just after I cut out all the holes I needed, so all the masts, the holes for the masts are done, um, as well as the square, little square holes, etc., for like the belfry, the, um, the mast racks, the bit, etc. So that's all been done, um, and it's now setting. I'll just move that, put that back. Um, the next thing to do was to build up the stern gallery framework. Um, I don't know whether you can see that there, just give it a twist. Okay, the framework, it's all um, clamped at the moment and drying, but like everything else with this kit, you know, I didn't have to shave anything off or file anything here. Or the, it just fits. Everything goes exactly where it should do, you know, and it goes straight in the holes. And yeah, I've had to do no modifications so far, which is, out of all the different kits that I've done, you know, um, Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You know, so um, so while this is all setting, you know, I've done the deck, um, the stone gallery framework is is um, setting now, it's all been built up and it's setting. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the other bits and bobs that came with the kit. Um, you know, the first thing is the sails. Um, usually, uh, with the ones that I've had so far, um, it's that horrible white sort of plasticky material. Horrible stuff. Um, and usually with these horrible black lines up and down it. it, it, it I'm, I'm not keen on them at all. If you're gonna have sails, have sails that look like sails. It's just, um, that's just my personal preference personally, but it's, you know. But the ones that came with the Ocre kit, um, these are stunning. I mean, I've, the ones I've seen on the old Fonso up to today, have been white, so I don't know whether customers have, have, you know, suggested maybe, you know, maybe doing a more sort of tanned, weathered sort of look material, um, because that's what I've got. Um, I've got these lovely sails, they've all been done and stitched, but they're in this really nice, and you see that, I mean, this is white, that's white, and that's the color of the sail. Um, it's a really nice tan, sort of vintage tan colour. Um, obviously, I'll probably do my um, my weathering technique, the same one that I did with the Victory sails, um, which I won't have to do quite as much with these ones because they're a good colour to start with. Um, but yeah, these are stunning. Um, they've all come through um, with the kit. The other thing I wanted to talk about more than anything else. Um, you know, and a lot of people will relate to this, is quite often, especially especially with the um, the foreign kits, sometimes the uh, translations can be a little bit cagey, uh, not quite as good as they should be. Um, not so with Okra. Um, there's all sorts of, there's, there's lots of different languages in here, okay, but obviously from my point of view it's English, and it's English, proper, English, not badly translated English, it is proper English. Um, you know, whoever done this actually thought, well, we've got to actually make the customer understand what we're talking about. So they've, they've translated that perfectly. Um, and it's a very, very good step-by-step, -step, um, word for word in this. Um, it's very easy to follow. And whilst you're doing that, whilst you're reading this, You've also got a fantastic catalogue here, which is a step-by-step -step visual um, manual. Okay, so you're not only reading it, you can also see and visualize what it is you're meant to be doing and how it should look. Um, and the photographs in here are fantastic. It shows you really, really well. Another good touch. Um, you know, that, comp uh, that complements the, um, the written instructions really well. Um, also, obviously we've got all the plans, the deck plans, 
the mast plans, you know, showing you where all the blocks and that should go, um, you know, from the bow spirit, the mast, the yards, everything, which is great. Also, usually, with, with most kits, or most of the kits that I've, I've experienced, all your parts come in these horrible little plastic things. Uh, cardboard on the back with the plastic, you know what I mean? Um, you have to cut out the little um, cardboard bit at the back to get your bits out. Um, with Oakway, all the pieces have come in proper plastic cases. Let me show you. Right. Proper plastic cases. Okay? With proper wall, you know, all, all in their own little compartments. Okay? Everything separating and how it should be. You know, this is something I don't often, well, I've never, I've never experienced it before. You know, so that's another fantastic thing. Um, you know, all your threads, they come, these have come loose in a, in a gigantic envelope, but there is, there must be 40 different threads in there. Uh, uh, loads of them. Loads and loads, all the, all the thread that you're gonna need. Um, yeah, so all in all, there's a few of the bits that come with the kit, and I, you know, the sales are stunning. Um, all the parts in those lovely compartments, plastic compartments, um, the instructions and the translation is the best I've seen so far. I can honestly say it's the best I've seen so far. Um, so yeah, that's it. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, as, as for the Ile de Fonso, you know, this is where I'm at at the moment. Obviously, you know, I've just got to wait and let it, let it dry. Something I will say though, that I've not seen until I've done this one. When I built the framework up um, against the false kill, <coughs> there's these large, I don't know if you can see them from the, you might see them all the way through. There's these really large square rods that go all the way through every single frame on the port and starboard, right? On every single, single one. Um, again, you know, there was no shaving bits off here or, or you know, once, once you had all your framework square, they literally just slid all the way through, easily. Just pushed it with a finger. Um, so once you smothered all that in, in white glue, um, pushed through all the framework, made sure everything was square and it's set, this thing can't twist or bend. It's a fantastic idea. Um, I've not seen it um, before. Um, definitely not my man two of this. You know, I've not, I've not seen it. Um, and I think we should see a lot more of that. It's a fantastic way to stop the whole thing from twisting or bowing. Um, you know, it's a little bit fiddly to start with, you know, but, but once you've got everything square and you've got those rods in place, it's not going nowhere. It can't move and it, it really does make for a very, very strong framework. And I can't, can't recommend that bit that enough, it's fantastic. But, but yes, up until now, um, I've not had to shave anything, modify anything, just every single piece is fitted where it should be. Um, you know, and the materials are fantastic as well. You know, um, quite often with some of the ones that I've built, you know, it's, for example, the, the deck planking, usually it's, I don't know, it's, it's either lime, um, something like that. It's usually so thin and flimsy. Um, but on here, they are proper thick planks. Um, you know, the materials are fantastic. I, can, I, can, I can't rate it enough. Very, very good. So all I've got to do now is let everything set. Then I can start to um, work on the, the bulkheads and sides. Um, I've got to cut out the, the three beams in the centre here um, and build the frame up um, where obviously you're going to have, in the lower deck, you're going to have all your um, your grates, your, your, your hatch covers, um, with all your cannonball racks and everything all going around the outside of that. A um, little bit like the Victory's ones, you know, the cannonballs go around the outside of the racks, so it's bit, um, around the outside of the grate and all that lot, so it'd be like that. And then you've got the, the framework for the, the boat and everything. Um, but other than that, I can't really do much more until this is set. 
Um, and then obviously I've got to start building up the inside the um, the gallery because the first one is open. So obviously I'm going to have back here there'll be a wall with windows and doors. This bit here will be open. Um, yeah, and obviously building up the sides here. But yeah, there's nothing really I can do at the moment until that's all dry. So that's where I'm with the uh, Sanio Defonso, um, as well as some of the lovely bits and bobs that come with it. It's a quality kit. It really is a quality kit. Yeah, very, very happy with it so far. Um, so yeah, that's where I am at the moment. So I hope everyone's well. Uh, keep on building, guys, and um, I'll catch you on the next update. All right, cheers, guys. See you later.